Hey, welcome to this tutorial. Today, I'm going to be covering a couple of ways you can optimize your Maya scenes and keep things running fast. This year, I aim to learn some new Maya tools. It's been a long time since I've looked through the documentation and I hope to find some extra tricks I can use day to day. There's several functions available to Maya to decrease the size and complexity of your scenes. And today I'm just gonna cover a couple that I find most useful. So the first thing that we can do is remove all the empty, invalid and unused information from the scene. And luckily there's a really easy way to do this. So select file, optimize scene size. And I'm just gonna click the little menu box. If you're feeling extra brave, you can just leave everything on and hit the optimize button. And this is literally going to clear out any unused shaders, groups, transforms, etc. And I'd recommend saving your scene first. And if anything breaks, you can then go back and problem solve by toggling what you're clearing from the scene. Or you can optimize any of these individual things just by clicking the button next to it. Okay, right. Next, another way to reduce the file sizes and just genuinely optimize things is to not save the panel layouts with the scene. By default, Maya is saving the layout of all the windows, which can be nice, but it's also another thing Maya needs to read and do when opening a scene. So if you're struggling to open a rather big file, this can actually help you out. And to do this, you need to go to Windows, Settings, Preferences, Preferences, and in the UI Elements category, you should notice the Panel Configurations area. Here we can untick save and restore the panel details from files and just click the save button at the bottom. You don't need to do this of course, but it can help if Myra is struggling to open your scenes and taking forever. Join the Discord server to chat with a great community of fellow modelers and check out my Gumroad for access to the members only chat and a whole bunch of assets and tools. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, hit the like and subscribe buttons Come chat with me on the Discord and I'll see you in the next video.